Bless the name of the Lord. I just came by to remind you of the fact that God is a God of visions and dreams. The Bible says that before Jeremiah was formed in his mother's womb that God ordained him to be a prophet. I want you to understand that before you were formed, before you uh, came into this world, that God had a vision and a dream and a blueprint for your life. When you got disconnected from the realm of the spirit and you came into the natural, all of what God had for you uh, was still packaged, but you are now the one who has to search it out and seek after it until you find it. And a lot of us are living below our standard in God and living below our privileges in privileges in God because we simply do not understand and know who it is that we are and what we have been called to do. And so you have to discover who you are in God. And when you do, you have to understand that the vision and the dream that God gives you is supposed to overwhelm you. It is supposed to be bigger than your situation and bigger than your circumstance. It is supposed to be something that you cannot manage on your own or else you will not need God. And I want you to understand today that it is important for you to dream big, dream beyond your boundaries, dream beyond your capacity to do in order for God to manifest himself the way he wants to manifest in your life. He is the God of visions and dreams. He will show you the end from the beginning and he will cause you to understand who you are. And so that is why it is important for you to spend time in the presence of God. It is important for you to be seeking after him until you find him, not only to find his face and his glory, and his provision, but to find him in the place of purpose, to find him in the position that you had with him before the foundations of the world. When God said to Adam, where are you when he sinned and walked out of the will of God? It wasn't a physical place that God was asking him where he was. It was actually the spiritual place that he has, had fallen from, his position in God. The height of the vision and the purpose for which God had called him to is what he had shifted out of. And I want you to know today that it is often very tragic, but it is true that many of us are serving God, but we are shifted out of the purpose and the position that God has for us because we have not gotten to the place where we started to seek God for purpose and seek him to understand who we are and what it is that he has intended for us before the foundations of the world. Understand me, believer, it is critical for you to know who you are and what you have been called to do. And unless you get to that place, you will ever be in the church praising God, but empty, ever be doing things, but not finding the fulfillment and coming to a place of absolute frustration. I want you to wake up to the reality of who it is that you are today. I want you to start looking for the blueprint, start looking for your identity in Christ so that you can become everything that God has called you to, to become. We are living in the last day. It is critical and it is crucial for you to be in position and to be hastily doing what God has called you to do. So let me let you know today that you have to get beyond just going to church and get beyond just becoming a part of a ministry randomly. But you must get into the place and the position of purpose. God bless you.